you know they still gotta talk about you know what they're gonna do to the scats for next year i hear that they're gonna up the horsepower with those i'm hearing something in the fives you know mid fives i might have a little inside scoop i don't know man the twin turbo v6 the ram with the hellcat engine and i did get a little inside scoop from my boy geo man they got a new color over there at dodge I ain't gonna lie, man. I'll show you guys a little picture of it. What's good, everybody? Who is Louie 13? Back again, I am Louie. And as you guys may have heard, Dodge just announced their new 2021 lineup. As you can see behind me, we got my 2020 Dodge Charger wide body scat pack. Um, so we're about to hop up in this thing and let's talk about the new 2021 lineup. Actually, I forgot one thing. How could I forget? You know we gotta get a little cold start, man. We gotta get the cold start before we hop in, so let's take care of that real quick. You know, I just started it for you guys real quick, but um, yeah, man. So Dodge's new 2021 lineup. They just announced it. I just watched it. And man, I have to say, you know, Dodge doing big things, man. Mopar, Mopar for the win, baby. I don't know. They killing it out here, man. They got the new Dodge Durango Hellcat, man. And they're talking about big numbers. I think 710 horsepower, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Man, this thing could tow a motherfucking boat, a trailer, a lot of stuff, man. This thing is a beast. Uh, the first, the only SUV muscle car, man, that'll beat a lot of regular muscle cars, man. A family vehicle, like, crazy you got the durango that thing's crazy and then you got the new challenger super stock it comes with new 315 middle tires the radials you know they, they're listening to the people man they know those tires that they put on their pirellis are not enough burning through those shits at 60 miles an hour so man dodge really doing big things listening to the people uh they got the new tires on there that thing's looking dope man 10 extra horsepower and it might not sound like a lot, but believe me, that is lies. They said it put an extra three extra car lengths when they did their little run at the drag strip or whatever they did. So that's that's pretty significant, man. That that new Challenger Superstock's looking real nice, man. I ain't gonna lie. Um, and another thing, they said the Durango, the Hellcat Durango, is only around for one year. I don't know if you guys caught that, but this is the only year they're gonna do that. Um, so man, that thing is stupid. The Challenger Superstock's stupid. And then, of course, they got, for the first time ever, the new 2021 Dodge Charger sedan family muscle car Hellcat Red Eye. And man, that thing is dope. I mean, no really, no changes in any of the looks on any of the vehicles. Uh, the Durango did have some changes, though. The Durango had the spoiler for extra downforce and... um. It had the new front grille and the LED lights and all that. But as far as the Challenger Superstock and the Charger Hellcat Red Eye, it came with the new hood. You know, it looks pretty dope. Um, but other than that, I think that's the only change on it. I'm not sure if the Challenger Superstock has any like cosmetic changes to it. I don't think it does. I mean, you guys could correct me if I'm wrong. But they did get some extra tuning. Um, I forgot what gears they said, but... There's different gears in the Superstock. I think they mess with the suspension. The Superstock comes with four piston brakes to keep it lightweight. It doesn't come with the six piston Brembos. Um, I believe the Hellcat Red Eye Charger does. But man, that lineup's looking crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie, I was expecting um, the Dodge Ram Hellcat, uh, or at least the Ram, you know, with the Hellcat engine. Um, I didn't see that on there. They just announced those three vehicles. I don't know if they have more announcements to come. But, um, and then I was expecting the twin turbo ones as well. So, um, 
I did see they had the all-wheel drive Challenger. Um, you know, for people that live in certain areas, they want the all-wheel drive. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me, did I miss something? Because I did. I ain't gonna lie. I skimmed over a little bit. I was trying to get to the juicy stuff, man. But I didn't see the twin turbo that they've been talking about, the twin turbo V6. And um, I didn't see the Ram with the Hellcat engine. And I did get a little inside scoop from my boy Gio, man. They got a new color over there at Dodge. And I ain't gonna lie, man. I'll show you guys a little picture of it. The thing a little bit ugly. I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Apparently, it's a color that they use on other vehicles at Dodge. Um, I feel like I've seen it on the Challenger before, though. So I don't know if they're just bringing it back. But the color is called Cinnamon Stick with an S. Uh, but that thing ain't looking very good to me, man. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Um, but you know, the lineup is pretty crazy, man. You know, Dodge is always about doing groundbreaking stuff. The the new super stock challenger is now the fastest muscle car in the world so they say um stock you know out the factory since the demon is no longer around so now the super stock is the fastest production muscle car in the world and the thing looks sexy man those challengers look good with the wide bodies so i think dodge they still have some announcements to come uh, i don't think that was the last one i'm still you know they still gotta talk about you know what they're gonna do to the scats for next year i hear that they're gonna up the horsepower with those i'm hearing something in the fives you know mid fives i might have a little inside scoop i don't know man but uh yeah man as far as we'll talk about that in a separate video but as far as the the things that they announced it was pretty good man i mean no changes like i said to the looks of the vehicles aside from the durango but you know they got the hellcat red eye charger which is dope you know how you can have a family vehicle four-door sedan and it's that fast mid threes in the zero to 60 you know over 700 horsepower you know um mid tens in the i believe it was the quarter mile if i'm not mistaken yeah 797 horsepower on that thing man that's that's crazy i mean um out the factory out the factory no one's messing with dodge man I mean, just, you know, you gotta come clean with it, man. I love Mustangs. I'm not I'm not just a Mopar guy, you know? I love Mopar. I've had Mopar for the past, like, 10 years. I started with the Challenger RT, then I moved up to the Scat. Um, but I love all vehicles, man. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kinda itching to get another manual, so we'll see what I get next. But I love Camaros, I love Mustangs, I love Corvettes. You know, I love GTRs. I love all vehicles, man. Um, you know, it's not specific to just one brand. I love all vehicles, and I'm gonna be and I'm gonna be bringing a lot of different vehicles to the channel. So you guys got to stay tuned for that. But you know, Mopar's really killing it, man. Hands down, you know, you got to give it to them, man. They're they're the ones they started this, you know, upping the horsepower stuff as of late, and it's really it really is the golden era of muscle cars right now, man. They're doing crazy things with these muscle cars. Not only do these vehicles have all this horsepower and, you know, they say that they're very, very heavy and they are, but man, this, these vehicles can handle, they can handle very well. They, they, you know, they're no slouch when it comes to the handling. Um, I could tell you firsthand, I got the 2020 Charger Scat Pack. As you guys can see, the wide body, it comes with that suspension, the better suspension. And man, this thing can hold its own, man, on the turns and all that. Um, you know, it's a little bit of the driver mod as well, but you know, hey, it, it's, it does good, man. I ain't gonna lie. And, um, you know, these things are no slouches, man. They're really doing big things, um, you know, and it's dope because it's gonna force everybody else to really step up their game. So I'm very excited to see what Ford is gonna bring to the table. I'm very excited to see what Chevy's gonna bring to the table. I heard that they're gonna stop production of the Camaros and I hope that they don't um, I think that would be very stupid I don't know why they would do that um, I hear like they just haven't been selling that much but you know I don't think you know you can't stop selling the Camaro man I mean you gotta just up your game man up your game Chevy you know I love Camaros I was thinking of maybe getting a, a 
stick shift Camaro for my next vehicle, man. You know, maybe a SS or ZL1, depending on where the bag's at at the time. But you know what I'm saying, man? Um, yeah, but big things, big things coming, man. Um, very excited to see everything that unfolds. Like I said, I know they got more announcements to come. Um, and I'm excited to see about that. We can make another video, you know, talking about the predictions, you know, what we might expect to see. I know what I'm expecting to see. Uh, we already talked about it in this video a little bit, but we, we could get more into depth with it um, and make a different video for that. But um, yeah, man, as far as what they announced today, July 2nd, pretty dope. I mean, um, whether it... I know everybody wants to see changes to, you know, cosmetic changes. They want to see a different generation design. And I think that's coming, you know, but you know, you know, business is business, man. They, they're they dragging it out as long as they can, adding little things here and there. They added the wide bodies and I ain't gonna lie, it, as little as it was, it made a big difference, man. It got me, you know, you see me in this wide body. So it definitely got me to, to take that leap and, you know, purchase a new vehicle. Um, I mean, you know, they're doing little things here and there and they're just dragging it out as long as they can. And that's how business works, man. You got to stretch it out as long as possible. And, you know, they're doing enough. They're doing enough. They're adding little things here and there, little horsepower, new Hellcat Red Eye Charger, new Hellcat Durango, the Superstock Challenger. I mean, it's pretty dope, man. They're, they're adding, you know, the 315s to the Challenger. I mean... It's not crazy big stuff, but it's pretty dope. I mean, I don't see any other, I don't see any other companies doing that. I don't see Ford doing that. I don't see Chevy doing that. Dodge is really leading the game when it comes to this innovation stuff right now, man. If you ask me personally, that's my personal opinion. Um, I think they're really doing big things. And like I said, it's gonna work out for all of us because even if you're not a Mopar fan, I think you could still be happy about it because it's just gonna force whoever you roll with to step up their game, man, and really, you know, bring something new to the table and really try to get creative and create something that we haven't seen before. So I'm excited to see what's coming, man. Yo, it's a real good time to be a car enthusiast, to be a muscle car enthusiast. Just a real good time for all of that, man. And um, yo, shit's gonna get super crazy, I feel like. But yeah, I mean, as far as what they announced, that's all I got to say about that. There is some more things that I want to talk about pertaining to this uh, topic. But, you know, as far as the initial announcement, we're probably just going to leave it at that. We could split it up and talk about different things in separate videos. But tell me what you guys think. What are your guys' opinions? What do you think about the new lineup? Um, is Dodge stretching it out too much? Like, should we get the new change in design, the next generation look? Are you guys ready for that? Or do you like the little things here and there? You know, do you like the new Superstock Challenger, the new Hellcat Red Eye Charger, the new Hellcat Durango? Um, you know, what are your guys' thoughts, man? What are your guys' thoughts? What do you expect to see? Uh, you know, we're going to talk about it some more. I'm going to drop more videos on it. But yeah, man, let's, let's talk about it. Let's discuss it in the comments. You know, hit them up. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you agree with me or if you disagree with me. I wanna, I wanna talk about it with you guys. So let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on the new announcement. Are you overwhelmed? Are you underwhelmed? Is it what you expected? You know, let's talk about it a little bit, guys. Other than that, I'm pretty much just gonna leave it at that. And you know, I look forward to talking to you guys about it, discussing it in the comments. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this one. It's a pleasure speaking with you guys through the camera. You know, uh, we got more content to come, a whole lot more to come. I got things in the cut, man. I, you know, I, all I gotta do is edit. I got videos on videos right now, man. So we're gonna continue to drop every single day. So tell your friends that Who Is Louis 13 is gonna continue to improve. And you guys gotta check out that new dope content because we got a lot of stuff on the way. We got a new camera on the way already ordered gonna be able to get a whole lot better footage especially at night because it does very good one of the best cameras for low light settings so man we got the good real good night content coming up soon because you guys know we do a lot of night content with going to mexico and all that we're gonna be able to see it a lot better now so you guys stay tuned for that that's gonna be coming very very soon 
um, until then you know we're still gonna be doing the night content but you guys got to bear with me I'm gonna get the best lighting possible um, that I can with the GoPro but you know it should the new camera should be here within the next few days so you know we're gonna get all the content that I already have pushed out and then once that new camera comes in you know expect to see better quality so you know rock with the boy man I'm gonna continue to improve for you guys with the editing with you know just the content what I'm getting all the shots that I'm getting I'm gonna continue to learn grow and improve so if you guys want to come along with me on this journey it's gonna be really dope and man uh, you know it's been quite the ride already and it's just gonna continue to grow and grow we got a lot more stuff coming I got a lot of stuff planned new cars you know just a whole lot of stuff I'm so excited about it and I can't wait for you guys to see what I got planned I can't wait you know I'm just enjoying the whole process of it but you know until then you know I appreciate everybody for rocking with me for supporting for showing all the love you know it's been a whole lot of love I haven't even re received a lot of hate and you know that's that's uh, that's a big blessing so I'm sure it'll come I've received a little bit here and there but you know I'm not worried about that whatsoever man I love I love the love and I love the hate just the same man so hey you know do what you guys got to do nothing but respect and love for me uh, all of the links to everything I use and recommend are in the description so go check that out if you enjoy the content don't forget to like share and subscribe right like I said drop a comment down below tell me your guys' thoughts tell me what you guys want to see next and we're gonna get it done without a doubt but yeah man like i said that's it for this one who is louis 13 checking out salute i'm gonna see you guys on the next one man